well, a couple things I could do with this. Either sell it the fast way to the scrapyard, keep it for myself, or find somebody that's interested in it. What's with all these like little holes that are all over? Only on the top. challenge is to get this up there. This has been out here all weekend. Even the garbage man didn't want it. A sink aerator. Well, you know what's wrong with the workbench is one of the legs is like rusted out or something and it's bent. So, probably the end of that thing. Oh, stainless steel scrap score here at Macca's. Ooh, this thing is heavy, man. So it's for making the sausage biscuits. Now, I got all this rubbish on here. Figures, you know, pile your truck up with a bunch of crud and then you find the good stuff. Two hundred forty volt. Well, it's going to have to reside on the. It's going to have to reside on the tailgate, I think. Right? You find that one really good thing when you got all kinds of crud. As a scrapper, I get performance anxiety. They get people in the drive through there. I don't feel like lifting it. This is what I mean by performing anxiety. You know, you get people in the drive through and then you go to lift it, and then the darn thing starts falling apart. So it become like a source of uh, comedy. That should hold it. Should I take this thing apart for the stainless, or just scrap it whole? This is all stainless. I mean, it's like that thing weighs a good 250 pounds easy. Add some sort of electrical fire. It smells like shorted out and all that. All right, kids, onward, onto the next claim. What else is in the dumpster here? Nothing. All right.
Einmal.